Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint. In this video, we're going to be unboxing Army Painter's new War Paint box set for Zombie Side Invader, the new game by Simon, the new Zombie Side game by Simon. They do new games all the time, so hard to keep up. Just want to say at the start of the video, they did send me this free of charge, so bear that in mind as I go through the video. But if you watch the channel, if you've known how I started painting, it was way before I got anything sent for free, and I started with Army Painter's box sets aimed at zombie side black plague i then got into it i painted the whole game with just that original black plague paint set and then i sort of backtracked and got all the modern versions that they did so i increased my paint range by buying lots of these little sets that are aimed at games now if you are unaware of what these are army painter do a specific palette specific set of paints in this case it's 10 paints aimed at a game and they've got various different games this is zombie side invader by simon uh, cool mini or not and what they're aiming to do is give you a sort of a value for money enough paints to paint the entire game more or less uh, if you're into a bit of mixing normally you can get exactly all the colors as i mentioned i did all of black plague with just their their black plague set got on fine i then went on to paint arcadia quest which you can then use the same paints for and then I had to start increasing my paint range and bought a few extras because the palette didn't quite cover what I wanted to do with Arcadia Quest. So that's what these paints are for. And um, this one is a new one for Zombie Side Invader. One thing I did notice, and I've not noticed this before, I thought this was a microphone the whole time I've been looking at Zombie Side Invader during the Kickstarter and since. I, for some reason, I thought that was a mic and I just realized it's a gun barrel with a flare coming out the end. Anybody else? not notice that uh, probably just me so let's go back to this paint set i'm i'm a big advocate of the the idea behind these just it's really really good for introducing new painters to games i would not have known where to start i wouldn't be painting today had zombie side black plague not have not if it didn't have a paint set specifically for the game if that didn't exist i wouldn't have known where to start so nice one army painter you got me into painting i think these sets can help new people paint so if you're watching this and you've not taken up painting yet and you're thinking about starting with zombie side invader i highly recommend these box sets to get you going after that you're going to be buying a lot of different individual paints or like me i've i've, I've got every single zombie side set now because of this one that they do and that's most of my paints made up. And then I've added individual ones here, there, everywhere to fill some gaps. Let's look at this box specifically. As I mentioned, there's 10 paints in this one, 10 war paints and a free brush. And interestingly, that free brush is only a starter brush by the army paper. It's actually quite good. We, Benson and myself, have both used it. And for a free brush, a starter brush is pretty decent. With the box art, it's just got some zombie side invader stuff. And it shows you a couple of painted models, which gets you started because... Uh, why not? It's sometimes difficult to find the artwork in the in the book to see how you want to paint everything. So it's nice that it's got a little bit on the box. But more importantly, and I've not seen this before, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think this is new. They show you which are the unique colors that you can only get in this box set. You can't purchase them separately, unlike uh, Gun Black, which is just going to be their matte black. Uh, Abomination White will be their matte white. But this pale skin, Xenos Carapace, soldier green rigid brown army gray and tentacle red are going to be unique to this set so that's cool even if like myself you own a bunch of their paints it's nice that you can still pick up some some colors that only come in this exact box and also the colors you're increasing are the ones you run out of most black white gold i use a lot and uh, normally squirt way too much out shaders i'm going through them faster than anything else oh so that's cool so I just covered them all. I was like, and then, no, no. Everything's unique except the ones I actually use the most of. So quite quite good, quite clever. They probably did that on purpose. They probably put some thought behind this. Let's have a look inside. There's not going to be much new here. If you've watched one of these unboxings before, you're going to see some paints inside. Similar layout to normal. So these are the large bottles. We're back to the big ones, not those 12 mil that I've been quite fond of recently. Saves you a little bit of money. I don't know how much this is going to retail for but it's going to be more than the 12 mil ones. And so inside, they send you this. They send you this with like nearly every order you make, every paint set you buy. It's quite good though. I've actually flicked through and it. it's quite helpful. And there's some things in there I didn't know. So I'm like, nice. So you get the paint uh, guide, they call it this guide, free. Please take one. Like I said, you get them in nearly every order, but it's surprisingly, it's quite good. It's got a few tips in there. 
And then you're presented with a little case that takes up way too much space. So uh, I kept these for ages and then realized that I can just strip them down and I've just got the bottle stud. Here's the starter brush I aforementioned, just the starter brush. It's uh, ooh, it's okay. It's, it's not as good as their um, most wanted range or the Kalinsky brushes, but for a starter brush, it's pretty good. I painted a couple of models with it myself and it's got a decent point. Then we can just flick through the colors, I guess. We'll have a quick look, but pretty much it's just gonna be some colors. So you get a black, very, 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 very useful as always. And you get a white. So you can make colors lighter, you can make colors darker. Don't mix white with red if you want a lighter red because it makes pink. I learned that the hard way. You, you're given a, a shader in this. So this is a wash and it's invader shader and it looks black. Yeah, I think that's a black wash. So that's good. That's the one I've used most of in my painting career. Black's the strongest wash to own in my opinion. You get combat gold. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of gold. I use it a lot because the artwork has gold, but I prefer silver. There's no silver in this by the look of it, but gold's the next best metallic color. So you get gold. Then this is a unique color. So they're the non-uniques. Then you get this, whoa, it looks a bit salmon-y. So they call it tentacle red. And uh, yeah, it's quite pale. That's interesting. It is. I thought it was just gonna be very, very similar to like abomination red, but that's different. That is very unique, a bit tan-like. This one is a light Zenos carapace, carapace, Zenos, Zenos, you potato, potato. Very similar to their wolf gray, um, wasted jeans. This is similar, but it is unique and it is, it just looks paler than both of those, but it's a similar, similar color. So that's quite cool. So that's going to work as a highlight to those other colors that I have, that wasted jeans, that wolf gray. This is going to be a nice highlight for that, as well as covering the, the, the aliens in uh, Zombie Side Invader. What else have we got? Pale skin. That's a slightly off white. It looks, my eyes are, are erect at the moment. I've been doing some sanding and can barely see, but that looks, uh, just looks very similar to white, but it's a pale skin. So let's put them side by side. Oh, you can see it's nowhere near as bright. It is, it is an off white, a slightly gray white. So cool, cool. That's another unique one. So that's most of the uniques covered. We've got rigid brown. So this is unique as well. Um, it's quite a golden brown, isn't it? Not, not seen that yet. I haven't got a golden brown by then. We've got army armor gray. So this isn't a metallic, is it? No, it's just gray. So you're gonna be able to use that pale skin as a highlight. No, that's the abomination white. You're gonna be able to use that pale skin as a highlight. So it goes light gray lighter gray and then a very very edge highlight of bright white those three are going to work really really well together to do that armor and then finally there's a soldier green is there a lot of green in invader can't remember but it's another green you've got a bunch of different ones so between all the army painted greens you get really really nice transition through the shades so that's all the colors guys that's everything that's in the box let me know in the comments below who would you like to see painted from zombie side invader who you're most excited to paint anything else hype 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 right guys i'll leave some links in the description below to army paint sites so you can pick these up if you're interested if element games are stocking it i'll uh, link to them as well and they do support the channel there's a tiny commission five percent or something if you purchase from there and they ship worldwide so if you fancy supporting us by all means please do thank you all very much for watching i'll see you again soon